I got in my shoe. Um, are you okay? Yes. Can you help do anything? Uh, not yet. We're just okay. looking out some washing machines. No so in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi guys, so I was just popping into Curry's to look at some washing machines and an electric cooker. Now I did have a wide range of washing machines to pick from and as you can see here, there's so many. Um, I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know, I didn't have a clue which one to buy other than I wanted a hot point. However, in the end, I didn't listen to anyone. If anyone knows me, they'll know me. That I don't listen to anyone even after asking for you advice and I bought this Burko one um, so far it's going okay but yes as time goes on I shall let you know how Even. it's going and this is a little look inside the washing machine itself and here I am running off after finding the one that I like and going over to look at some electric ovens now um, my plan was to buy the cheapest one only because i won't be using it as much now i have actually moved into the house already and i haven't used the electric oven yet it's been like three weeks so maybe i should have stuck to just having the cheapest one but i did in the end buy this one because i did like it best and it had a, like a little timer it was a little more dearer um but yeah it's quite pretty to be honest sitting there and then after that i run off out the store after buying them items and just emptying out all my pockets and then i ran over to asda living because we didn't have some essentials for our daughter that we needed so this is us just spending money that we don't have on things that we don't need yeah we needed them though um but yeah we grabbed them and then off we went home the next day then after that we went to our local town centre and I went to the carpet shop there which is called Showcase Flooring. It had a large variation of carpets and I knew exactly what I wanted from Pinterest. So I was going for cream colours and white colours even though I have two little kids but hey ho you only live once and then i was going through these books they have such a large variety of vinyl they were so pretty and some of them you could actually think that oh it looks like an actual tile or it looks like actual laminate like this one it actually looked like a tile it was so weird the texture of it i loved it but it was just too expensive i couldn't go for it i couldn't justify the price but they had such a beautiful variety of items in their no. shop and even the carpets they were so lovely um but yeah we did go for vinyl in the end for most of the rooms and carpets just upstairs oh and then i went eat shopping after that at amans on george street so this is me just plodding along just going to the shop now i'm not gonna lie amans did give me a bit of a shock only because they've started bringing in the Sada Bahar collection. All the Pakistani designers are there, like the Karma collection, the Sada Bahar. Um, I loved this white suit. I was looking for something. I was looking for clothes for Eid. I loved that white suit. And then as I was going around the shop, I was like, oh my God, they've started really stocking up on Pakistani designers. And they're really trying to get out there and get with the whole flow because Sada Bahar has been huge in the uk lately so i was quite happy that amans did bring them in but this suit really did catch my eye and i really did want to buy it but if you know me i don't wear salwar gummies on a casual day i'll never be wearing salwar gummies on a casual day i loved it but i only buy salwar gummies for eid and when i go out for eid i go out like in terms of clothes i tend to wear like the fancier side of clothes so yeah there was quite a wide range of designs different colors i was quite shocked like i said but um yeah and then they did some like little pieces of like 
I don't know, side pieces, like little dresses and stuff like that, little good does. And then I came across the Karma collection as well. Again, shocked by what I am seeing, um, but really happy that you don't have to go back to Pakistan. And then there was Manira. They had the Manira clothing line as well. So I've heard about Manira from my sister-in-law, by the way. Shout out to her. But um, yeah, so they had all these pretty clothes and i was just literally i had my husband behind me and he was just following me and he was literally like can we stop now like have you not chosen your dress yet because i kept picking up suits kept feeling suits kept looking at him and he was like okay this is going on forever now you need to quickly make a decision i just wouldn't listen and then they've got different materials like this is lawn um clothes for summer and then they had like I don't think they actually had any clothes for winter, but they did have like more thicker prayers, like a bit thicker for the weathers as well that you could get away with wearing. And then if you look at little mm-hmm. these, all these dummies, they have like such beautiful clothing. And then I loved this design. However, the colour would flush me out. Um, by the way, the range on these clothes on the Sada Bahar collection, it yeah, really was justified. Like, the price was quite good. Yeah, like, last one. Um, yeah. the clothes with the embroidery and the beading, they had like £40, £50, and then like the simpler Sada Bahar suits, they were like £25, £2 for £40. Was it? Yeah, like. So, many kind of Mangwaya? Because we are going shopping for the whole or many. I have to buy the burger, my dear. Um, my burger needs to be up toward the other burger. And again, I ordered from Smash Burger. And I'm going to order the uh, chips, the craving berries, chicken poppers, the nunukili, or a burger. Jo me gur jag it the kongi, or the kongi, kitna acho hai, ya bura hai. Pali bar yang se kari hu. So it's a bit of a gamble, but um, in gay reviews, both are cheer. So I hope the Muji Pasangi can I. Take the next left onto Cutler Hill Road. And then after that, we decided to go to the park. Now, my husband hasn't ever been to this park, um, so I did want to. Well, it's not even a park, it's like a countryside kind of lake view destination um it didn't really have much swings and slides etc but i was really excited to take um my husband and my daughter just so they could see how pretty it is because i went for the first time with my best friends um last year or the year before and i was just shocked at the scenery and how pretty it is and how close it is to home and i have never discovered the place so yeah we did a lot of walking on this day um my daughter who is very much like independent like she's such an independent child she likes doing everything herself um she doesn't like anyone doing it for her so even here like um she wanted to push the pram for the baby she didn't want to be held she didn't want to be picked up anything like that she did fall quite a few times but look at the scenery it's so pretty and a lot of people do actually come here to jog by the way um but yeah we saw some little ducks and i was trying to encourage my daughter to quack quack but (laughs) it didn't work but yeah um everything was so cute here and it's just ongoing um, it's just all the way around the park. There's just a lot of greenery, a lot of water, a lot of ducks, and it's just pretty to look at. And subhanallah, the beauty. It's just a beauty. Oh, wow! Unki bachi dekho. No, no, look at the babies. 
Nyo-nyo, Pedro! 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 Oh! So I just want to say thank you guys for watching this first vlog um, on my new channel and that's the end of the video and I don't want to talk about the fact that we got lost in the end and I was crying my eyes out and I thought the day was disastrous but now when I look back it wasn't that bad so yeah bye!